say it's because they're really difficult, aren't they? And it's really difficult to write a love song and for them to not sound. That's the only word I can think of to do that. But I have had a go at writing a love song. I've had a go at a few, and this is, frankly, the best you're going to get. <laughs> Uh, this song's called Never Thought I'd dot dot dot. I don't know why. <laughs> the grammar is important, but it is. Um, it goes like this.
thought. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I was so transfixed yeah. I forgot to refill my water. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Have any Dolly Parton fans out there? Woo! <laughs> I'm so much better than the other night. Oh my god. <laughs> no, okay, no, I'm coming. Mean, this guy in the front went row with. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you haven't really talked about that yet. No. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, I'm a big Dolly Parton fan, and one of my faves by Miss Dolly has always been. Yeah, thank you, Jeffrey. Ooh. It's always been um, Jolene. You guys know that song, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not going to sing it for you. <laughs> Here's why. It occurred to me, for reasons that I won't get into right now, that, you know, maybe nobody had ever heard Jolene's side of the story. <laughs> <laughs> so I wrote it. <laughs> and I set it aside, you know, I wrote this years ago, and then... Uh, my publisher recently, uh, last year, was pitching the song around Nashville in a bluegrass band out of North Carolina. What? Uh, uh, yeah, Where's my beer gone to myself? <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole new level. Not so much to it. yourself, actually. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Where's your outside voice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my inner monologue. Yeah. Yeah. Exterior. <laughs> you poor people. Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome to the big two. <laughs> Uh, so this bluegrass band from North Carolina recorded the song and uh, put it out last year. It was the lead-off single from their record, and uh, it was all over bluegrass radio last year. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Woo! Go figure. You know, it just goes to show you, you never know where your little, whose sandbox your little children are going to be playing in <laughs> when you let them outside. And Emily's going to play it for me, because I wrote it on guitar, but you do not want to hear me play it on guitar, because I have to like, stick my tongue on every time I change chords. <laughs> Dear darling, it's me, Jolene. I know this letter won't wipe my conscience clean. I'm not asking for forgiveness or even sympathy. There's a thing or two I wanted you to hear from me. Woman to woman, maybe you can understand. I wish to God I had a love that What is worth Sorry for the pain I'm causing you. Sometimes even girls like me are in love too. I'm so tired of standing in the other woman's shoes, saying the other woman's blues. Well, this ain't the first time I've been here. I wish it wasn't so, but it's painful to me. There's just something about me that makes a man turn my way whenever he's not free. Just a lack of all, he'll fly into the fire with no shame. I wish I knew how not to be that way. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for the pain I'm causing you. Sometimes even girls like me fall in love too. I'm so tired of staring at you.
It's got its own web domain and everything. So you go, it says hoveactually.com. You can get Hove Actually mugs, Hove Actually t shirts, Hove Actually everything. <laughs> but this song that I'm going to play you is kind of my Hove Actually song. Because in my head, it's written about the peace statue, which you, you, uh, you hit at when you, when you get to the seafront, you get to the, the Hove Actually peace statue. It doesn't say Hove Actually, it's a beautiful angel. And that's kind of what this song inspired. It inspired this song, even though it was written in the dressing room of the Robin 2 in Bilston, which is crap. <laughs> <laughs> really, really horrible place. <laughs> but this came out of it, so this is good. Mm. This is jolly, even though it's got this chord in it. Can we play Shaker? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Do you want to play Shaker in it? <laughs> shake, sister, shake. Yeah, do, do, <laughs> definitely do that as well. <laughs> All the way through the song. <laughs> There's more candy for you. <laughs> Don't enter. One, two, one, two, one, two. Follow. For every 
bed We trade you everything and love the skin that you saved
couple of years ago, I was nominated for a songwriting award, right? There's a gig, in fact, it was the gig that I met Steve at, Steve Lawson, who we know about, Mr. Internet. Um, I met uh, him there, but I was also at this, this particular gig. They put me forward for this songwriting award, which was amazing, really lovely. I cried, but then I cry every day, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was great. And then all of a sudden it came through and that I'd been shortlisted for this prize. I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then it came to this award ceremony thing. And I thought, okay, I'll just invite all my family and my friend, the kind of friends where it's like, it's all right, mate. Don't worry about it, it's fine. It didn't matter if you were. So I dressed, but this is me dressed up quite smart. Right. This is me smart, right? So you can imagine my normal, everyday, run-of-the-mill clobber. It's pretty... I, well, it's in Notting Hill, so I look like some kind of tramp had walked in off the street, right? It's a really beautiful place. And it was there's different song... Uh, there were different awards being given out, and there was just one for songwriting, so... Everyone was dressed up, apart from me. And I decided, next door, there was a really nice pub. Let's go in the pub next door, meet there, and then we'll go into the awards ceremony, right? Great. So, as I tend to do. I had a few too many <laughs> to drink before we went into the ceremony, right? Because I was thought, well, that would be okay, because then when the person gets called out, I can just look and go, yeah, it's great. <laughs> um, so, long story slightly shorter, uh, tw not at all. Um, <laughs> what happened was, they called out the name of the person that won the songwriting award, right? And the name of the person that won the songwriting award was Emily Baker. <laughs> right? So a very drunk me <laughs> staggered toward the stage toward the person that was handing the award out. Now, that would have been fine if it hadn't been Annie Lennox. <laughs> and what would have been even better is if I didn't respond like this. It's you! <laughs> And she went, yeah, yeah, great. You've got to make a speech now. So I sort of went, I'd like to thank my mum. And I'd like to, and I don't know what I said, something awful. Because all my friends were kind of going, oh my God. Why did we agree to come with her? It, you know, the free bar's not even worth it now, that kind of thing. So that was great. And I won the prize and it was great. It meant I could, I could make an album was the plan. So I went into the bar afterwards as well. There she was again. Okay. So I did it. <laughs> Again. <laughs> and I went up to her and I was like, thank you so much. It's you. I can't believe it. It's you. <laughs> that. And she got in a taxi and she went home. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my brush with fame. <laughs> it all started then. <laughs> anyway, this song, I have it on good authority from those that were sat on the panel. It was the reason why I won the award compared to all these people that frankly were dressed up and I think they weren't expecting that they'd really get it. Which was why I won it. <laughs> like this drunk hobbit sort of guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just great. Um, oh. <laughs> this song's called Overcoat and it goes like this.
wrap me up in your overcoat. Never told me about the paper boat, the one you filled with hope was the one that got away. Still waters to rescue me. I'm in too deep, into, into whatever ending. You're ignoring everything I say. I'm breaking, we don't bend. When I'm looking through.
disastrous story um, I was able to make an album there are copies of the album over there the album's called House of Cards and we're going to play you that song right now this time we some taps on it so. yeah 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 taps is going to come and yeah. bang her drum <laughs> <laughs> Woo! yeah let me move out the way oh, no, 
Because you're in, you're in the, you're in the. Oh really? Yeah. Otherwise, you're not in the camera. I know. I'm like. Then it's that's a fine. That's fine. I'll I'll be I'll be back here. I'm used to getting hit by things. Right. I can, well, that's what she's saying. No. Good. I can move forward. You're fine. Yeah, there you go. There. Yeah. How about that? Do that. You can do rock making then. Uh oh. Oh yeah. You can't beat rock making. <laughs> you know when guys play the guitar and they do rock playing? Well, I love it. I love it. It's <laughs> like the funniest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Like it's entirely unnecessary, but really funny. <laughs> Now I'm gonna do that with my heel. Let's all do it. Like really? <laughs> <laughs> Makes me play the guitar so much better. <laughs> Chance will be a fine thing. Right, here we go. Thank you very much for having us tap some yeah. 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 tap. Yeah. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Standing on it, shadows, watching the bell jar drown. 